All right, so this is the video for This Is My Violin. Just a couple things before you watch it. Um, lots of students will try to hold the neck of their instrument. This song is always right here on the shoulder. And I realize that I'm holding it with my right hand. When I'm teaching students, I always mirror what they would actually look like instead of what I am for this song because all the movements of trying to hold a violin are hard enough as it is. And so I use my right hand so that it's their left hand and it looks just like it. So <clears throat> I'm gonna sing both verses of the song. I never teach both verses of the song the first day. I teach the first verse and I don't teach it all at once. I just do one line at a time and repeat a long time, especially the first two lines because it's really hard for students to get that down. So here it is. This is my violin. This is where I put my chin. E, A, D, G, R, the four strings and the F holes, let it ring. Here's the front and here's the back. If I drop it, it might crack. So I hold it close beside me. Rest position, one, two, three. Button here, tail piece there. Bridge and fingerboard right here. Pegs help hold my strings in tune. The peg box holds my peg so firm. Mr. Scroll is dressed the best. Looking down on all the rest. Here's my bow and now I show you play position. One, two, three. I do um, have them air bow at the beginning. If you want them to grab a dowel, that's fine. But at this point of the song, they haven't been using a bow. Um, it's a really exciting moment when they get to use their bow. And then, um, yeah, I think that's it for that one. Um, the biggest things that you wanna look for when you're teaching it is to making sure that they get here. Um, I usually let students get this motion down really well before I bother with if they're doing this or this. Um, I don't talk about that at first. I found that most students, if they get this down, uh, most of them will go to their shoulder. Um, and if they don't, once they've done this several times, then you just ask them like, oh, is yours on your chest or is it on your shoulder? Well, we hold our violin in our shoulder and then it usually corrects itself. Um, and then this is a really great way that whenever you don't like how your students are holding their violins. You're just like, okay, everybody stand up. This is my violin. This is how I, where I put my chin. And then they go back to this setup. So that's how we use, this is my violin. They've learned play position, rest position, the names of the strings and all the names of the instrument by the end of week two with the song. So hope you enjoy.